Hello, hello, hello. It is that time again today. Thank you so much for those who have been watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and following. Whew, it does my heart good. So I'm excited to wrap up the week with you on today. Let me back it up. My name is Keishan. I am your human resource. I help people see the possibilities in what they think is impossible. I am disrupting HR. I am disrupting leadership and disrupting you today as I, again, I wrap up the week. If you missed the live, hashtag replay is real. Please hashtag replay. I am on four platforms, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Stories with Keishan page, and Facebook, my personal page. So make sure that you subscribe, you like, you follow, all of that. I am not going to be before you long, but I do want to share as I wrap up and start preparing for next week. So I quit my job in the fall, wrote a book, here I am, and what more is there? So let me just talk about it from this standpoint. So when I quit my job in the fall, I was following what God was saying. So I was being obedient to what God was saying because he's omniscient, he's omnipotent, omnipresent. He is all of that. So what I didn't know, he knew. So it really wasn't up to me to try and figure things out. It was up to me to obey, to follow what he said. And what did what does he say? What does his word say? It's better to obey than to sacrifice. It's better to obey than to sacrifice. So you sacrifice things. I sacrifice huge. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta laugh to get through it. So the sacrifice was a financial sacrifice, temporary financial sacrifice. But he knew what I didn't know. Like I said, um, in prayer, one day, the next day, he said, quit. I obliged. I did just that. But also, my doctor had previously told me, Keishan, if you do not reduce stress in your life, you are going to have a stroke. And what is February? People are wearing red, not only because it's Valentine's, the, the month of love, but it's the month of the heart. The heart. And heart attacks, strokes, all of that can be caused by stress. So my doctor told me that if I didn't reduce stress, I would have a stroke. And in addition to that, um, it runs in my family. So I listened, I obliged, and God spoke, and I moved. So I moved, and I quit my job. But what I didn't realize is that in this process, you know, you'll go through a process thinking one thing and come out with a lesson. Where they say, uh, your, your testimony, your, the test brings your testimony. That is coming. But God moved me beyond my comfort zone. To the point where I have absolutely, unequivocally, I have to depend on him for everything. Discomfort, uncertainty, all of that is in play right now. But I have to move forward. Why? Because there is, the blessing is on the other side. How many times have you been in a situation that you did not want to be in, you tried to avoid it, you did not want to jump in the murky waters because you couldn't see the bottom of the pool, you could not see that the pearl was down there, that the diamond was being chiseled in the process of the discomfort. So here I am in the midst of that, pressing through. I remember I wrote a, um, for the longest, my, uh, I don't know if it was my Facebook, my picture or my um, cover page. It was a diamond. And that represented pressure. 
the pressures of life will create a jewel that you had no idea would be formed in the process. So I want to encourage somebody right now who may be thinking, it's just too much. The weight of this is too heavy. I cannot get through this. First of all, that's a lie. You can get through it. You have to press through it. You have to press and keep your eye on the prize. What is the ultimate goal? If you are in the middle of a situation that's uncomfortable, you are in the middle of an event that seems to be unbearable, seems like you're never going to get out of it. it. It's just the worst thing that you've ever happened. I think about some of the things I experienced in my younger days. You know, I keep forgetting how old I am. Um, but my, my future is greater than my former days. So my greater is my future than my past. But anyways, so think about it from this standpoint. And I can't read my comments. I can't see who's on or who's not. But what I can tell you is this. If you look at those jewels, if you look at the diamond, you look at the pearl, you look at those jewels, they weren't just created because they were, they just popped out of the sky. They just floated down from the clouds and they appeared. They were created with heat, with pressure, with discomfort. A pearl was, think about that grain of sand and it just kept going and it's, it was just, um, formed by that oyster. Um, and I remember, I don't know what class it was, but I remember thinking, this is how a, a pearl is formed by grains of sand that are just, um, I don't want to say formed, but are just um, pressed together and over and over and over till they come up with this shiny pearl. Think about a diamond. A diamond is pressed so, and they're found in the deep parts of the earth, in the deep parts of Africa, where you have all of these beautiful diamond mines. And, and even when the gold, you know, during the, I don't know if it was the 1849 or the 19th, I'm thinking 1849, when people were rushing to California to find this gold. Because it, it was covered in dirt. <laughs> God is amazing. So anything that you go through, think about even plants and a fertilizer. It's dirt. It's poop. This is the grimiest, nastiest stuff, but it produces so much. When you are in situations and you feel like you're being pooped on, you're being uh, just... Uh, dirt thrown at it, whether it's your your character, your integrity is being challenged, dirt, poop, fertilizer, all of that stuff is for the purpose of growth. Man, that was an epiphany. That just came to me in this moment because I think about this plant. I'm trying to get this plant back together, but I know I'm going to have to put some fertilizer on it, give it some plant food. But not only that, as we go through life, in order for us to grow and blossom, we are going to need to be fertilized. <laughs> we are going to need to have dirt dumped on us for the purpose of sprouting and growing into that which God has for us. Man, that took me a minute to get through. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you don't even realize when you're going through something, why? until it comes to fruition and it blossoms and becomes the beautiful flower, plant, item, diamond, pearl that God had intended for it to be. That sums it up. I am done. I struggled through that. I really did because I started in one direction and I don't know why I couldn't stay on that direction. But here I am talking about dirt, fertilizer, poop, and all of that. For the purpose of becoming what God intended for me to become. For the purpose of becoming this pearl. For the purpose for of becoming this diamond. 
if you are in a situation right now and you're like, I am being dumped on in many capacities, do not let that discourage you. Think about the story of the donkey. The donkey fell down the well and couldn't get back up. And so what did the, the master do? The master was like, well, you're down there anyways. You're so down. You're, man, this is good. You're so far down in the well that you cannot reach the top. And why? Because you're so low. But what did the master do? The master took the dirt and said, well, I may as well just bury the donkey. Kept throwing dirt on the donkey. What did the donkey do? The donkey shook it off and stepped on it with each heap of dirt. And what ultimately happened? That donkey stepped on, stepped on so much dirt that it rose out of that well. Man, I hope this blesses somebody because it just blessed me. It just blessed me. Woo! Wasn't planning to talk about it, but it is what it is. So, I'm a disruptor of things. Real quick, reboot. 3.0 is real. What does that mean? Stories with Keishan is coming back. I have already started reaching out to individuals to schedule them to be on the Stories with Keishan podcast. Whether it's a live or a pre-recorded, you are going to start seeing those again. Look for them. I have some pretty amazing individuals who have some pretty spectacular stories to share. Remember, Stories with Keishan, ordinary people with extraordinary lives. And I just realized this whole time I have been on mute. So that means on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Stories with Keishan, I'm going to have to share the live in a different way. I just realized that. So there may have been comments that say, well, Keishan, I couldn't hear you. My bad. So I'm going to take the one that I have on my Facebook page and share it to the other pages because I did not realize I was on mute. So anyways, that's all that I have to share. When you are, when people are throwing dirt at you, when they are pooping on you and you just can't figure out what to do, you just shake it off, step on it and rise. Ah, that was good. So again, my name is Keishan. I am your human resource. I help people see the possibilities and what they think is impossible. I am disrupting HR. I'm disrupting leadership. And I'm disrupting you. I was muted on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Stories with Keisha and Facebook page, but not on my personal page. So I'll be sharing that out. Again, hashtag replay if you did not catch the beginning. Until next time, until next week, next week Tuesday, I'll be back. Take care. God bless.